Hello everyone, this is XM Physics. If we have a battery with negligible internal resistance, then whatever the value of the load resistance, the efficiency is always 100%. Because whatever power that is delivered by the battery is consumed in the external circuit. So the efficiency is 100%. If the battery comes with an internal resistance, then it's a different story. Because the current I has to pass through both the internal and external resistance. So to deliver the power of I square big R to the external circuit, I square small r has to be wasted in the internal resistance as well. So this is useful power, this is wasted power. So the efficiency can be written as the useful power, I square big R, divided by the total power of I square big R plus I square small r. So, um, notice how, how easy it is if we use I square R instead of V square over R because it's the same currents that passes through both uh, internal and external resistance. So all the I's will cancel out and that leaves us with a very neat expression for the efficiency. R over R plus R. The load to the total resistance ratio. We can plot the graph for, for this uh, formula. So um, yeah, in fact, uh, when the load resistance matches the internal resistance, the efficiency is only 50%. This formula also tells us that uh, the larger the load resistance, uh, the better the efficiency. In fact, it will approach 100% efficiency if the external load is infinitely large compared to the internal resistance. So why don't we just always uh, maximize R for 100% efficiency? Ah, that's for the next video on the maximum power theorem. See you there. Ta-ta.